Namaste. How you doing? Should kids practice yoga? My direct answer is no. Kids are so open to energetic electrical vibrations. They are as close to the purity of the prana. And then for me, yeah, those dormant centers in the children's brain should be left untouched because they are not equipped with the knowledge, the experience to face the not so beautiful side of our subconscious, which includes our karmas. Yes, yoga meditation is beautiful, but we need to become aware yeah, of the limitations and the pitfalls and the dangers. All right. I don't want to be poetic, but meditation, yoga, a simple asana, you can awaken those domestentes, and this could send high electrical pulsations to the brain. And this could trigger what? The release of electricity could lead to you know, convulsions, could lead to collapse of uh, the vital functions, it could lead to seizures. Yeah. When I was a little boy, yeah, I inherently I'm very sensitive to you know, the subtle vibrations. And I would dread being sick because every time I get sick, yeah, I would experience this intense electri electrical pulsation current rushing to the brain that I would leave the physical body, literally. Yes, and I could see and experience realms that I didn't understand before until yeah, it happened again in my adult years. And that's now how I was able to connect um, the, um, the realms yeah, beyond yeah, past or even before yeah, the mortal existence to uh, current state. And kids yeah, are not equipped yeah, with the knowledge, with the experience, with the preparation yeah, to understand this. It's dreadful. Yeah. And as we progress our lives and the senses take over, and the social, um, I'd say, expectations yeah, take over, yeah, we lose this yeah, inherent our sensitivity you know, to the realms beyond the physical. Good. And that's when we yeah, start to reconnect again with atmosphere, with care, with knowledge. Yeah. So how old yeah, or what age? Uh, I do recommend uh, children to start practicing yoga. All right. Traditionally, yeah, 12 years old is safe, but yeah, it's only the preparation stage, 12, 13 for me. Yes, um, that age, I'd say um, children can already understand yeah, the, the essence of yeah, life in general. Yeah, they already understand the, uh, the concept of uh, right and wrong, yeah, doing good to others, yeah, sharing, loving, yeah, happiness, yeah, without inflicting uh, pain, yeah, as yeah, we tackle our lives. Yeah, so 12, 13, 15, we focus on preparing yeah, our kids, our children, on the not just the beautiful side of it, but the harsh realities of yeah. Meditation, yoga. So initiation includes what? You know, off the mat observances, as well as taking care of building you know, habit, yeah, taking care of their bodies and building a uh, healthy lifestyle, which include what? Yeah, diet, exercise, yeah, community service, all those things, which you know, should have been ingrained yeah, way before the age of 12. Yes, and I would recommend you know, incorporating or start uh, adding to the program you know, asana at the age of what, like 15, 16, yeah. 
and then yeah progressively it's safe to practice already all right um yes um i know um some of you may not agree yeah because there are benefits to meditation but <laughs> yes there are but as kids become aware of the subtleness which as adults we seems like they are maturing fast but inside the brain their awakening centers there which should be left untouched until such time that they are mature enough to understand you know, the connection of the subtle entities to the present life past fu future and also yeah the the uh, say the cultivation of their character of their values of their attitude because all of this would have to be i say solidified before we open those dormant centers Good. thank you and i'll see you next time Namaste.